Good morning, everybody, and welcome. My name is Michael for clublexus.com and yodatech.com, and today we are checking out the all new GR Corolla. All right, guys, we're here at Formula D Long Beach 2022. And so it's a little bit crazy around here, a little bit noisy, so hopefully you can hear me clearly, but this is the brand new heart of the GR Corolla. And what's fascinating about this particular engine, you guys, is that it's actually a three cylinder. That's right, 1.6 liters that makes 300 horsepower at 6,500 RPM and 273 foot-pounds of torque between 3,000 and 5,500 RPM. So it's an amazing piece of engineering. They've reduced back pressure. They've put the turbo into the exhaust manifold, forged pistons and a bunch of other technologies. 100 horsepower per cylinder. And this is a port and direct injection engine. So a little bit of both, which is on a bunch of cars these days, it basically gives you the best of both worlds, um, you know, for emissions, economy, for starting up the car and being most efficient under hard acceleration, all those things, but beautiful little engine bay. All right, checking out the body and chassis. What you guys can see right over here is that we've actually got two editions. That over there in heavy metal is the circuit edition. This is the core edition. We'll explain that in just a little bit, but let's go ahead and just kind of take a look at the vehicle right now. We've got functional aero up front here. We've got wider fenders. We've got 18 inch wheels with 235-40ZR18 Michelin Pilot 4 tires, Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires. Each GR Corolla is gonna have this GR4 logo right here. Out back, you're gonna see this unique trio exhaust that is really, really cool. All right. And so what Toyota has done, folks, is they've taken the regular Toyota Corolla uh, platform, the chassis, and they've strengthened up. There's extra welding underneath, and there's also extra aerodynamics. Again, we've got the vents in the front fenders, of course, but underneath the car, it's the smoother underneath the chassis. And the heart of this system, well actually, you know what, let's go inside since it's super loud. All right guys, so stepping into the interior here of the new GR Corolla, what you guys can see is kind of a, a leather slash suede two-toned interior with white stitching. We'll get into the circuit edition in just a second and explain the differences, but these seats are very comfortable and nicely bolstered. You got the GR logo up here. The heart, in addition to that amazing engine that's up front, we've got a six-speed manual transmission. This is the only gearbox that is coming with this particular vehicle. And right over here, you're gonna notice another key feature, which is the GR4 all-wheel drive a basically selector knob. This system can be set up, it's all wheel drive, but you can set it up to have 60% of the torque and 40% going backwards. You can have a true 50-50 balance, or if you wanna go hooning, you can put 30% of the torque up front and 70% in the back. Taking a look right here, you guys, we've got heated seats option. That is gonna be standard on the circuit edition, and it is a optional here on the core. We've got the new Toyota infotainment system here, which is pretty similar to what we've seen in the TRD Pro. You've seen a version of this on new Lexus vehicles as well. Taking a look over here, uh, tactile volume knob, simple to navigate between the different things. If you have, it, this also does wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so that would appear up here if you were connected. We, of course, are not, since we are not driving this thing, unfortunately. Uh, HVAC system buttons here. You got an auto system, knobs, tactile buttons, uh, pretty nice right there. Push button start with the GR logo, leather wrap steering wheel with the GR logo as well. Got a digital gauge cluster here. All right, adaptive cruise menu, settings. All right, yeah, here we go. Changing all the settings and, oh, and over here on the left, we've got a gauge pack which is gonna show your engine temperature, oil temperature, and turbo boost, I think, is what that one is. Is that, yeah, t times 10 PSI, yeah. So we've got, very cool right there. Yeah, here is the steering wheel. Nice size, feels good in the hand. All right, guys, sitting here in the back seat of the GR. All right, uh, I am a six foot tall individual, so probably not too much more room if you're taller than me. 
maybe six one or so could fit in here but i've got this is me sitting behind my own seating position so i've actually got room it's not super comfy you know what i think it's actually pretty similar to the cadillac ct4 uh just in terms of how much leg room you get but uh for a very very compact vehicle uh i think what they said last night is that you can put these rear seats down here and fit a full set of racing tires or racing wheels and tires uh with with the seats down which is pretty cool but yeah i mean a, a lot more room in here than it would look from the outside all right so we don't have any pricing yet but we do have a lot of information about these two models this again is the circuit edition and this is what's called the core edition this edition is going to be available later this year and here in 2022 as a 23 model and this one is going to be a 2023 model year and model exclusive okay so let's go over the basically the differences in addition to being a limited run what you're going to notice here is that you're going to get a carbon fiber roof along with this matte radio antenna and this matte black spoiler up here. Another big feature is gonna be the vented hood with a little bit more of a bulge, which you can see here, versus the Coors hood, which is a little bit different. No venting, no bulge right there. The colors on the Circuit Edition are gonna be heavy metal, which you're seeing here, supersonic red, which you're seeing right here, and white. The core edition is also gonna be available in uh, white and black in addition to supersonic red. So circuit edition, this color is going to be exclusive. All right, stepping into the inside, biggest update you're gonna see is the kind of the, the red stitching with slightly more bolstered seats. These are unique seats to the circuit edition. In addition to the seats, you're also gonna see that there's more of an analog style gauge cluster, and you're getting the premium eight speaker JBL sound system with this one, which is supposed to come with a charging pad and different ports. These are pre-production vehicles, you guys, so my apologies if some of the features that I mentioned are not exact fit and finish on this uh, very early pre-production. So what's interesting is that if that the circuit edition cars are gonna come with all the features in it, but you can upgrade to all of them on the core edition, except for this color, of course, and the seats and so forth, but you can get the technology package, which is gonna give you that radio. You can get the cold weather package over there, which is gonna give you heated front seats and a heated steering wheel, which is standard here on the circuit edition as well. One last feature for the circuit edition, you guys, is that the front and rear of the cars with the circuit edition you're getting torsen differentials sorry up front and in the back over on the core edition the standard is open differentials but there's a performance package available that will upgrade you to the torsens which i highly highly recommend it's actually one of the things the only things that i really dislike about the, at least from a spec sheet perspective is this idea that you wouldn't get uh you know locking or torsen differentials with the front the other thing you're going to notice here is that from the press release i believe it said that all of the um all of the GR Corollas are gonna get red brakes up front. You got 14 inch, cal uh, 14 inch pistons, four calipers up front here. And I think it's 11.7 inches for the uh, rotors and two piston calipers in the back, they're red. The circuit editions are supposed to have the GR logo, but all of the vehicles here have the GR logo, so I'm not exactly sure, but red brakes and maybe a logo. So definitely a logo on this one, maybe a logo here, I'm not sure. Might come with a performance edition as well. Uh, another thing, of course, you wanna take a look at is the this is how the spoiler is set up here. You see it's on top of the normal one that's on the core edition. And what I was just told is that the core edition is supposed to have, this section of the car is supposed to be black when it comes to production. So I guess we will see about that as well. From a mechanical standpoint, the vehicles are gonna be very similar and you can spec a core very similar to how the, the circuit edition is because I think these are going to be really, really hard to find and probably with massive, massive ADMs unless Toyota can do something to stop that. But yeah, check out the brakes, guys. They're slotted but not drilled. Really big. They look really awesome. And uh, the Michelin Pilot Series tires are among my favorite for, you know, sporty driving both on the track and city, canyons, whatever you want to name it. So really great tire. I've asked the engineers actually why they went with the Pilot Sport 4 versus a 4S or an all season four. And I haven't quite gotten the answer yet, but hopefully we'll, uh, we'll find out in the coming days and weeks. Wrapping things up with the new 2023 GR Corolla, checking out these pre-production models. So what do you think about them? Let me know in the comments down below, or if you're on yodatech.com or clublexus.com in our forum threads. As for me personally, I'm really impressed with what I've seen in person, what I've touched, 
you know, the feeling of the seats, the seats are really comfortable, manual transmission only, all wheel drive that you can torque vector, you know, put it 60% uh, up front, all the way to 70% in the back. I think that's really smart, it's really fun. Great tires, good looking wheels, 300 horsepower, all in a package that is 3,249 pounds. So I think it's really impressive and I cannot wait to drive one in person. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next video. Cheers.